That's racing. It's not all rainbows and sunshine. Alright guys, it's race morning. You guys saw us working on the car, putting the final touches on it last night and this morning. Um, a lot of emotions yesterday from the car overheating, wondering should we still race. Um, called the tuner, called our friends, got some advice, and we decided we're going to go put some water wetter in it. That's what we did. A couple other things, we raised the ride height in the front a little bit because it, it was low. And um, then we got the news that we qualified fourth. So we were really excited. It's my first time at a big race. It's our only third race ever. so. That made me feel really confident. Now we have a great starting position. We haven't pre-ran the course, so now, like I, I said that before qualifying, if we had a spot like that, we could see what these guys do the first few laps and then kind of figure it out. So really excited, really hype on that, and um, we're just gonna do what we can. You know, if the car gets warm, we're gonna, we're gonna work with it, but we got a, a good course layout where it's not gonna affect us too bad, so we think we can do it and be competitive. So I'm really excited. Uh, the weather's cooled off a little bit from yesterday. <clears throat> Hopefully get a little breeze like we did. It's nice racing at 2 p.m. Uh, making our way to the track now. Just gonna stop and get some grub and uh, got a lot of hands on deck. Our friends race in the turbo class are gonna be there to assist us because they don't race until tomorrow. So, man, we've got we've got a lot of help. Um, made a lot of progress and as of right now, race morning, I'm feeling really confident because of our qualifying. So, we'll uh, catch up with you guys later. Uh, we're gonna go get dialed and ready for the race. Make it only turn off when I put the new mind in it. Okay. Yep.
pit instead of being a co-driver? Um, I don't know which is more stressful. Um, being in the car is obviously the experience and you get to just sit there and do your job, but being in the pits, it just seems like you scramble and you don't you don't know what's going on. So being in the car, you always know what's going on no matter what, so you don't have to panic. In the pits, you really don't know what's going on until they get here or they need something and then it's just a surprise to you. So I don't know. I mean, I, I enjoy doing the pits and having fun in the pits, but I'd much rather be in the car. <laughs> good everything looks great the car's handling awesome and uh, two more to go it makes it great gaining time on people so real proud of them it's, you know cars looking good <laughs> That's racing. It's not all rainbows and sunshine, but they were doing really well. Is the arm broken, or if we get you a bolt, can you go? Huge shout out to Izzy. Izzy here on really? the ground, making crap happen. Can you get a size Love for me? Dude. There's no quit, Izzy. Hey, does he have any spare bolts? Bolts. Like what? Brent, do you know? Lower A-arm bolt. Okay, so I'm going to try to get somebody to bring it up to you. What race model are you at? Okay. Let me see if let me see if one of these people stop. If one of these cars stop, I'm going to run up to him. Yeah, you want to get the finish because you don't know what happened to the guys in front of you, too. You're still, if, there's only been four cars come through, Nick, so if, if one of those cars has a catastrophic, then you guys get going again. All right. Her, we got it. We, hey, there's a car right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Hey. We can put a punch in that right now and make it work. I think we'll put it back together and we'll limp it out of here. It was drivable, it was difficult, yeah, but. Some oil back here too. You got a gearbox in here too.